Microsoft Whiteboard is a great application for drawing diagrams and tables quickly. There are a few tools which help enhance the drawing experience. Let's take a look at them. I usually find drawing certain shapes perfectly difficult, such as circles, squares and triangles. Microsoft Whiteboard has a tool called Ink to Shape which allows you to draw shapes more easily. The app recognises certain shapes and will smarten up drawings for you. To enable this feature, select the Ink to Shape tool from the Settings menu. With the tool enabled, you can now draw shapes neatly using your desired coloured pens. There is a feature in Microsoft Whiteboard which helps you to align elements on the canvas. From the settings menu, select Object Snapping. Now select an object and start dragging it and you will notice alignment lines appearing. This will help you position the object on the canvas. You will notice that this restricts the possible locations where the objects may be placed. To make finer adjustments to the object's positioning, disable the object snapping and you can move the object in smaller movements so that it can be placed in the precise location you want. Tables can be drawn easily in Microsoft Whiteboard. To do this, select the Ink to Shape feature from the Settings menu. Now using a coloured pen, draw a rectangle or square. To make two columns inside this shape, Draw a line down the middle, making sure to start the line outside of the shape. You can do this as many times as you wish to add the desired number of columns, or you can click on the plus sign. To add rows, you can do the same but draw horizontal lines. You can now write or draw inside the table and the cells will expand automatically to accommodate the writing. If you would like to make a copy of this table, left click on one of the lines in the table and select copy from the menu that appears. Now you can right click on the canvas and select paste. As with all drawings, you can resize the table by clicking on one of the lines in the table and dragging the circle icon on the bottom right of the table. The table can now be placed in your desired location by left clicking and dragging it into its position. Click on one of the options here to enhance your teaching and learning further and subscribe to the Teach Me channel so you know when more useful videos are released.